like to give an overview of the information in this problem. You can see that I have circle P, and specifically this is telling me that P is the center of my circle. I also am told that segment ST is congruent to VT, so I'm going to mark those congruent. And you can see that I'm being asked to show that angle PST, this upper angle, is congruent to angle PVT, the lower angle. Now the challenge to doing this proof is that I'm used to doing triangle congruence to show parts of shapes congruent. And you'll notice that PSTV is a quadrilateral, not a triangle. However, I can break quadrilaterals and other polygons down into triangles by adding an auxiliary line. And specifically, I'm going to do this in a way that I get two congruent triangles. So I don't particularly want to add one in here, although there are some ways that I could do the proof with that approach as well. Um, I'm going to go this route here. I'm going to add segment PT in. And you see I get two triangles there that appear to be congruent. If I'm going to add this auxiliary line into my proof, I do need to include that as a step in the proof. So step two says to draw segment PT. The reason being two points determine a segment. The follow-up. Now I need to prove these triangles congruent. Um, right now I don't have a lot of information, but I do have the circle information, and I know that if that's the center of the circle, SP and PV are radii of a circle. So I'm going to state that SP is congruent to PV because all radii of a circle are congruent. So if you look back, I now have a pair of congruent sides. I now have a second pair of congruent sides. And I have a third shared side, that auxiliary line that I put in. And I'm going to finish this out. PT is congruent to itself. That's the reflexive property. It's another pair of sides. My two triangles are going to be congruent by side, side, side. So that's triangle PST congruent to triangle PVT, side, side, side. Again, make the check. Make sure that you have three congruence statements. If you don't have those three congruence statements, you need to go back and make sure you add those. And finally, this angle is congruent to this angle because they're corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So PST is congruent to PVT because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent.